Hi, I'm Trent Bosch from Trent Bosch Tools. I wanted to uh, just take a minute to introduce a new tool that we've been working on for a while and I've been using versions of for a very long time. Um, it's a golden mean caliper. So basically it's a device that um, has a proportion of one to 1 1.6, which is basically a, a, a two third, a one third, two third sort of a ratio. And what that does is it, it just uh, is a really nice ratio that our eyes are used to seeing and allows us to kind of pay attention to the, to the proportions of our forms that we're making. And I use it in many ways when I'm making hollow forms and bowls and platters and, and the like sort of objects. Um, we made a high quality, uh, made out of steel, um, here in the USA in our shop in Fort Collins. Um, it is a um, design that we came up with that just is simple and clean and allows you to use it easily. So um, if you take a look at the, the two different sections, there's that, the, the basically the, uh, um, the distance between those, it changes, but the proportion stays the same, if that makes sense. And we, as we move it along that axis, it, um, it just keeps that same proportion. So on a hollow form, when I'm making hollow forms, there's a couple of ways that I use that on a hollow form. So my largest diameter of my hollow form, I like it to be, um, you know, kind of in that one third, two third area, which is this, this ratio. So what I'll do, I'll set these aside for right now is I'll just set that down on the ground, on the, on the surface that the bottom of the piece is sitting on, and then I'll bring the, the top caliper, or the top piece up to the top of the vessel. And the largest diameter, I want to be right about that, that area um, for this to look nice. Um, so that's one way I use it. The other way I'll, uh, on a hollow form I'll use it is I'll look at the full diameter of the hollow form. So I'm just looking right down at it and I'm adjusting these calipers so that it's about the diameter of my piece. And then that's about the size I make my opening on that too. So I'm using that the smaller, so the, the one third sort of side of this to check that um, opening size. And I usually on my bases of my hollow form or my feet of my hollow form, I'm just slightly smaller than that uh, one third dimension. I do like my, my vessels to have just a little smaller foot so that it just lifts them up off the table a little bit more and, and uh, um, just a personal preference on that. So you might be asking yourself, what's up with this, this ratio, this golden mean? Um, it basically is something that we see almost every day or yeah, definitely every day. Um, and it's just a ratio that we find in nature, that we find in the human body, that we find all over the place. Uh, so it, just a couple quick things with my face here. From the bottom of my nose to my mouth to my chin, that's that same ratio. From the, your elbow to your wrist to the tip of your finger, that's that same ratio, that two-third, one-third sort of ratio. So if we can combine and use this ratio in our pieces, what it does for us is it, it, it is a, a ratio that we're used to seeing, that we're comfortable with, and um, uh, just really is a, you know, I, I, sometimes I'll get a piece off the lathe and I'll look at it and I'll go, something's just not right about that. And uh, usually the proportions are off just a little bit. I don't want to say that this is the only proportion that works because there's lots of proportions that, that work in our pieces. And um, so you can pay attention to those as well. But this is a quick and easy way to kind of check your pieces for that golden mean. Um, and uh, I, I guess another one that I like that, that isn't a part of this is the one-to-one -one ratio. So like a sphere, a sphere is a beautiful object and a beautiful shape. And it does not have anything to do with the one-third sort of two-third ratio that we're talking about here. So um, it's, it's not something that's in every piece that I make, but it's in quite a few of them. So that's how I use it on hollow forms. On my bowls, my more utility type bowls that I make, um, a lot of the time I'll take the diameter of that piece, so I'll go ahead and, and set it up for the diameter. And then that short side, the one third side, will be about the size of my foot. And that's just, it actually is a nice, uh, a nice size foot for that utility. And again, it uses that proportion so it looks good to our eye. 
I'm going to close it down a little bit more and go from top to bottom again on this one. And uh, what I'm going to show you with this one is that my decorative area that I usually generate on my forms usually is centered around that one third, two third area. And I also, so the center of my decorative area is there and then I use it again for the length of my decorative area on my bowls. That makes sense. So uh, another couple ways to incorporate that in that form. On some of my platters that I make, um, I do a lot of carving. These are all just sample pieces, just demo pieces that I have laying around to show you. And I may or may not have even been paying attention to using a caliper like this during the demo. But a lot of the time since I've been turning for a long time, that proportion is something that I just, just happens to happen uh, in, in my work a lot. So on this one, I'm going to take my, the size of my uh, inner bowl here. And then on this one, I used that proportion. So the full dimension was the size of the bowl. And then that two third was the size of my rim that I did that carving around on. So just another way to incorporate that in, in your pieces. So. so this particular golden mean caliper is uh, the 12 inch version. So the distance from the tip to the back of here is 12 inches. Um, when closed all the way down, that ratio isn't exactly perfect. Open it up just a little bit and then that ratio becomes uh, that exact 1 to 1.618 is the actual exact ratio. Um, and then that it works all the way up to almost a foot and a half, almost 16 inches is what we can get out of this one. Um, we are planning on making smaller ones so that you have the ability to, to make smaller objects as well as some larger ones for um, those larger pieces. But we figured this was a great size to start with and it's, it's kind of the size that I've been using for a very long time and works great with the size objects that I make. A few of the features that are worth mentioning about our golden mean caliper is they're made out of 14 gauge steel. Um, they are also uh, have a black oxide finish on them so that um, they resist rust and uh, corrosion. Um, they also have bushings in the joints that allow it to open up to whatever dimension you want and it stays put. So there's little nylon bushings in each joint so that it doesn't change that dimension as we're using it. And there's just a little bit of a pressure when it when you go ahead to move it. And I really like having it kind of stick in that location that I want it to, to stay in. Um, and it's a nice sort of compact design. It's something you can throw in your bag and um, take with you wherever you want or just store it in your shop. Go ahead and check them out at trentboshtools.com. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment on any of these videos. Uh, the more we do that, the more people see it and the more people will have nicer forms because they paid attention to that golden mean. So thanks for joining us and uh, I hope to see you next time. Take care.